Hey guys, I'm the Noble 117 and today I am doing a double review of the Power Rangers Super Mega Force Deluxe Legendary Morpher, I believe is what it's called. Which as you can see, it comes with the Morpher, Mighty Morphin Red, Super Mega Force Red, and the Turn Key, which... I'm keeping because it makes its own unique noises that not none of the other keys do. The morpher itself is supposed to look like a cell phone of some sort. On the back here you see the Super Mega Force or the Go Kyger if you're a fan of the Sentai, another Super Mega Force or Go Kyger logo. Nice textured red look. It, flips open, you got your buttons where you put the key, your uh, logo that's not done yet, and uh, not this side. This side is where the tab would be in if you're in a store and you want to do the try me mode, that's where it would be in that little slot. Over here there's this quote unquote vent and a switch with which when you have it in you hear you get not sure if you can hear that, so I'm gonna plug the demo key in so it becomes louder because that's its gimmick. And then only two, four, five, six, and eight make noises when you press them. And you're probably wondering, well, why isn't this open like in the show? Well, it does that when the key turns. So, let's just turn the demo key, and he just fell off of my soon-to-be key holder. Wait, you, you didn't see that. Um, let me scoot that back. Ah, screw it, they fell. I'm only doing this so I can get the stupid thing in the frame so you can see it shoot open and everything. So, you got the morpher. I'm gonna turn the key and. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Hold on. There we go. And it makes the same noise again unless it gets glitchy like mine just did. I don't know why it did. But here we go again. It has to do with it being pressed down or something like that. So we'll pull the key out. And we'll take a look at the Ranger Keys themselves. Which, as you can see here, we have... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Ranger. And all of his MMPR glory of this nice, like, speckled plastic. That with the white painted. I kind of wish they didn't paint it solid white because it kind of kills the effect and when actually let me get my other MMPR here the, the, they're actually painted differently this one has a lower cut hands and a higher cut knees these ones have a higher cut hands and lower cut knees like paint wise well, let's get him out of the way for right now and, um, in the show and everything, they show you flipping up the hands and then flipping it open. And then you have to, and then they flip it open. Which, there's a QR code. For you guys to scan, I'm going to wait a little bit longer just so you guys can quote-unquote 
scan the app if you're not scan it with the app if you're not watching on your mobile device which if you are and you have an Xbox I say you stream to your Xbox and uh, yeah the back of the hands aren't painted um, the helmet has its has as much detail as they could get on this particular one you'll hear me uh, praise the other two that I have the other different keys that I have that aren't mighty that aren't MMPR red because he doesn't have his teeth picked out into silver but I can look over that just because of how small this is and to put it in the morpher you just um, again you can flip these up like they show in the show but you don't have to you can leave them down every reviewer I see flips these up and then does the flip gimmick but you don't have to so I won't you just hold it and then you go Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Eh. And then to put in your morpher, you just stick it in. You turn it. Mighty Morphin. Now this does make another noise, unlike the try me key. It makes the uh, MMPR communicator noise. Every key that's not a Super Mega Force key will do that. And now, Captain Marvelous or Troy, Super Mega Force or Go Kyger, Red, Bandai of America edition. Which, as you can see, this is probably why they gave um, MMPR Red the low cut gloves. The paint on these things are nice. Mine has a slight blemish on this side, but for the small area that they're painting, I'll give it to them. They even picked out his uh, Go Kyger or Super Mega Force logo there and there. Um, really, the other thing they could have done to make this a little more detailed on all of these would be if they painted the belts on them. Which would be a little bit of overkill to just put like gold here and then silver on the... MMPR belt with like maybe a little dot of gold in the middle but I can look past it and then of course you can these things are pretty articulated for the fact that they're supposed to have like one gimmick yeah the hands can move th the arms can move 360 and that's basically it if you have the turbo falcon you can actually have them all sitting looking like they're driving because the turbo falcon you can plug it in like that um, yeah, so now let's see this puppy's sounds. Mega Force. Eh. Eh. And if you're wondering, yes, these will open no matter what key you put in in turn. So I guess I can actually show that off with this one's second noise, which... Summon Starship. Which, when you have all the other uh, Super Mega Forcers, even the Q-Rex and all that, you can actually summon all the Megazords and it'll say, like, Legendary Megazord or... Legendary whatever Megazord and all that jazz. And as you saw, I do have the MMPR Ranger Pack. Ranger Pack 1, not Ranger Pack 2. I want to get Ranger Pack 2. Which it comes with the Mastodon. Triceratops. Tyrannosaurus. Which, if you're wondering why I was doing those little pauses in between, is because it's supposed to be Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. Um, as you can see, the Mastodon and the Triceratops are actually my favorite keys in this group. Because, well, they're actually detailed. He's got a little bit of paint smudge on his hands, but I can look over that. 
I mean, look at that picked out in silver. Oh, that's beautiful. Even got the eyes picked out. Ooh. Man, I like that. Um, again, I kind of wish they could have add, added the diamonds so these didn't look like like these are just generic Sentai legs. Um, I like the diamonds on these. Pretty nice. Also good to add like border for like if you're trying to take a picture of them, you can set them up where it's like the triangles are the borders. Um, oh, right. So, uh. Mighty Morphin Blue. There's a QR code. Mighty Morphin Black. There's that QR code. So you can scan those for your Mighty Morphin QR codes. Um, I will say that the Red Ranger you get with the Tommy set will give you the same Red Ranger. Because I've tried it. Once a while back. It does give you the same default Red Ranger. It doesn't put the Dragon da the dragon Dagger slash Dragon Mode armor on it. And now we'll go into sticking these guys. And actually, uh, this one. Not sure if you can see it. Hold up. Mine has some uh, bad painting on this one. Which is actually... Which actually really bugs me on the head, so uh, I like using the uh, key, the mega, the morphers ones, and well, can't wait till we get Dino Charge so I can say Brave In from all the uh, Cure User stuff. And well, if you want to see the spring action one more time, it's just happens. Right when you start from here. So about right there is when it flips open and then just... And if you're wondering, the lights and sounds will work if you have it folded. So if you wanted to do something like this... You could. And as you can see, it's quiet again because there's no key inside. Um, now I'm going to stick black in there. And I think I might have this blue stand there just to give it the ambiance. And you fell. And we'll just... So, um, yeah, that's basically the morpher. I will say, you want to wait until you hear... Actually, let me turn this off for a second. You want to wait until you hear that click before you take out the key, because if not, it's going to be a hassle trying to get your keys out, because that won't be locked into place. As you can see, it is like there. Like, let me see if I can't do it now and screw up the morpher. Which, as you can see, like right there, it's not in all the way, which now I kind of did that. And it's gonna. There it is. So, um, yeah, that's basically the legendary morpher. Um, mine actually has a little bit of a eh on the details up there. It's nice. It's painted good. Kind of wish they used black screws on the bottom or at least here, here, and then like gold colored tipped screws there so it hides it a little better. Um, it, it's, it's big for being a cell phone and as you heard when the key's not in it, it's quiet so if a kid wants to put it to their head and pretend it's a cell phone they can even though it makes no sense considering that they would put their head up here and the speakers all the way down here but okay and then again you just
about that much of the key can go in, so... Oh. Before it stops, so you can get to... You can get about up to almost a second notch from the top down of a Mighty Morphin key before it turns loud. And you have to have the keys in all the way for them to be able to turn. Because if not, as you can see, well, it won't turn. I mean, it possibly could if you got it at like the right area, but it most likely wouldn't. You would most likely end up breaking your key. So, um, yeah, that's basically the morpher, and these are Heroscape pieces. I believe these were from uh, my Marvel Heroscape. And basically just buy a whole bunch of these, or if you have a whole bunch of these, you can set up your own little, like, legendary key haul as if it's mega force or super mega force the uh, key pack which I'll set up up there comes with a little pamphlet that basically says these are all the different keys you can key packs that are coming out which is just the uh, Red Ranger setup packs, as I call them. So you get your respective Red Ranger for every series up until uh, Mega Force. And uh, that talks about the, and that one comes with its instructions. So, um, that's basically it. I'm the Noble 117. This has been the Power Rangers Super Mega Force Legendary Morpher. Actually, you know what? I should bring just to say one thing. Like, see that little square right here? If you press that in, it will pop open the thing because when you put a key in, that will lift up, which I can easily show right now if I turn this off just because I'm tired of hearing the noises you can see that when you put a key in it's now lifted up right there instead of when the key's not it's down, then it goes up, down, up, down, up. So yeah, I just thought I'd mention that also. So I'm the Noble 117. If you want to see more Power Ranger related reviews, you can check out my Wild Force Retro Fire Megaz or my Retro Fire Wild Force Megazord action figure review. Or you can go onto YouTube and look up either, well, mostly look up MMPR Toys. It is uh, Bruno and Mia. They're good YouTubers that do have a good time reviewing their Power Rangers stuff. They also do review other things, like their la latest video that I have seen, they reviewed their Teeny Mutant Teeny Ninja Turtle figures and Halloween costumes. This has been recorded on October 12th, 2014, at 9 o'clock at night. Just to give you a little heads up on what time period. Um, yeah, or you can check out Shuken Shinobi, that's S-H-U-K-U-E-N space S-H-I-N-O-B-I. He's also a, he, he's a friend of mine. 
He reviews mostly Power Rangers stuff and Kamen Rider stuff. And um, on occasion, MGO316. He's an avid MMPR fan who did who did a great job of reviewing the Dino the soon to be Dino Charge line when it was back in Cure Eugen and basically predicted that it was going to become a Power Ranger series. He was like, he 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 basically just kept calling the Voltasaurs if you're a fan of Cure Eugen Megazords, and all the fans were like. It's not a Megazord, no, it's a Megazord, it's not a Megazord, it's a Voltasaur. <laughs> basically, they just kept whining, and he basically just said straight up, with the stuff and all the things that they do in the show, it's basically a Power Rangers thing, which I can see. I'm actually kind of surprised we're getting it as a Sentai, or as a Power Rangers series, because of... A well, number one, the morphers are guns. But, um, yeah, the Curiuger morphers, or Dino Charge morphers, are guns. Granted, they look super ridiculous, but still, it's a gun. And I f and well, in if they do follow the same storyline, which I highly doubt they will because of it, the black guy, the that sounds racist. The I almost said the black guy, the black, well, I did, but the black Kyori or the black ranger, Ian, yeah, black Kyori Ujur, not black ranger, the uh, black Kyori Ujur was a treasure hunter when, well, he shot a gun to save his best friend and his best friend died. Which was a pretty bold move if we do do that. And uh, the reason the gold or the sixth ranger doesn't trust anyone is because he saw his own friend die also. So again, Pretty ballsy taking up that Sentai as the Sentai of the year, as I'll call it, for us. Because, again, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty bold move. Just saying. But, I also know that we hopefully will get, I highly doubt we will, but I hope we get the... Dino Charge, Dino Thunder, Mighty Morphin Team Up movie, which you can watch on YouTube if you search Cure Uter vs. Go Busters. It's like an hour and six minutes and some seconds long. It's basically a this weird demon thing is kidnapping all the old dinosaur power rangers also known as the only other two dinosaur series, Mighty Morphin and Dino Thunder. Or Zier Ranger and uh, Abba Ranger, I believe is what they're called. And they get kidnapped and their red rangers become evil. All the other rangers in the team actually aren't kidnapped. So Dino Charge or Cure Uger has to go and save them. Blah 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 plot plot plot. You get a great fight with MMPR core team, Dino Thunder core team, which really bummed me out. Because I really wanted to see five of them. And Cure Uger's entire team. Which really bugs me because I would have loved to see Mighty Morphin green and dino thunder black and white but i do i kind of think that the reason they didn't do that is for america if we did get that series be so we could have that movie turn it into like a three-part 
episode because Tommy is in both series and it would be kind of weird seeing him in both series. The only other thing I really like about that series is you get to see an updated Goldar and Zeltra Zeltrax. Which they look really nice. At first I was like, why is Rita... At first I was like, wait. Why is he doing that thing? Why is he fighting that guy? Oh, that guy's the Red Ranger from MMPR? So who's the gold dude? Goldar, got it. And then I saw the other guy, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's, uh, what's his face? Zeltrax. And I was like, he looks cool updated. Um, so yeah, I've rambled on for about four minutes now. Five minutes or so. So again, I'm the Noble 117. Check out those other channels I mentioned. If you like Transformers, check out Optobotamus, MGO again. Peace. Oh, and yeah. Happy Halloween. <laughs>